everybody it's Lynn here I hope you're keeping really really well now in this video I'm going to be potting on a, a succulent bowl garden now it's been in this bowl for a number of years and it's desperate for a repot now I'm actually going to do a separate video on how to actually plant a succulent bowl garden and if, if you depending on when you're watching this video I'm going to put the links down below so if, the, if it's not already on it will be coming up in the future but check that out and what I'm going to be doing here, as you can see with bowl gardens, they have a habit of ten, a tend to grow over the top, as in this case I've left it for quite a number of years. So obviously what you need to do first is try, depending if it's a ceramic pot, um, in which case I'd actually recommend smashing it. And I'll put the links down below to another video I did on how to repot a cactus, and I'll show you in there about how to deal with a ceramic pot. And um, in this case, because it's plastic, I've actually given it a very, very good squeeze to loosen it up and I've used a blunt object here to go round all the way around the edges to loosen up the root ball as much as possible, squeezing as much, and I've gone all the way around the edges around here to loosen it up. Now on this occasion I've used lots of shredded paper in this bag here and that means that when I turn it over to repot it, it's going to support all the plants and you are going to get bits that are going to come off, um, maybe to propagate them, but that's natural when it comes to repotting. But not to worry, this will minimise the damage as much as possible. Now after you've gone around the whole of the, the edges and loosened up that root ball so it's ready to come out, pick up the bag with all the soft paper in, or whatever you're using for filling, place it onto the top, and this is going to cushion the blow when you, you move it over to get it out. Now, what you do then is you gently turn it, like so. Now... You are going to get some damage, which is inevitable when it comes to repotting. Turn it onto its side. And then gently pull that pot off. In this case, in a way. Look at that. <laughs> now, as you can see, that is desperately in need of a repot. And it's also a great opportunity to check the root system as well. There's a lot of different plants all growing in the same pot and luckily thank goodness the root system looks fantastic and look what i've spotted here i spotted this little guy on the hideout now slugs have a habit of hiding in the most tiniest places as you can see there's a little one there so i'm just going to put him back out there you go <laughs> and always go check the root system out to check that it's all healthy any dam damaged roots can be cut away it's in this case it's, it's compact and um, I'd recommend, you can loosen the roots up when you put them into a new pot, but I'm going to actually sort of leave them. Personally, my experience, I, if the roots look healthy enough, I leave them as they are, and I just pop them on into the, the next size pot up. Now, I've put an inch of soil in the bottom there, and you can use whatever cactus mix you prefer to use. In this case, I've used one part Johnning's number two, one part perlite, one part horticultural sand. And then what you do then is gently lift very carefully one hand on the bottom of the root system and the other on the top gently lift that either into the new pot like so Woohoo! my hand out that's it and then obviously gently lifting the bag off that's great and then the next trick is to try and get obviously as much soil around the edges as possible there you go guys and next size up now what i would do is Obviously, filling the gaps all the way around the edges of the pot, as in this case here. Go all the way around, pressing in so there's no air pockets all the way around it. And what I would do is always recommend when you're repotting, not just for bowl garden, for any cactus and succulent, only go up just the next size up. In this case, I've only gone up by about two inches the next size. So otherwise, if you overpot it, that's the biggest cause of root rot. And the biggest thing as well, strongly recommend, is this is always best to be done during the growing period, either spring, summer or early autumn. But um, the other thing as well is don't water them for at least two weeks after you've repotted them, whether it's a bowl garden or whether it's a separate cactus and a succulent, because there's always inevitably some root damage, doesn't matter how careful you are. So keep them completely dry for at least two weeks and then slowly start introducing watering again. So there you go guys. Any bits that fall off by the way, as in this case, just keep them and you can pop them up into some cactus and succulent soil and they root like anything. So I hope you found that helpful. I want to send you loads of love and loads of happiness as always from Ireland. And until the next video, bye.